before we paint anything, it's very important to degrease all the surfaces that we're going to paint. So spray some of the cleaner onto a clean cloth and scrub the surface to remove all of the grease and oil so that the paint will stick really well to the surface. Using a palm sander, we sand the surface with 100 grit paper to abrade the surface and give it some tooth so that the primer would adhere to it really well. For the moldings, I fold the sandpaper over and use the crease to get into the, the edge where the panel and the moldings come together. That's great. It's always a good idea to dust off the surface and then use a tack cloth to get any remaining dust off of there. What you want to do is dip the brush and tap it on the side of the both pot sides. liner. Both yeah, sides. both sides, that's right. And then bring the brush to your surface starting at, at the edge of the panels. You want to work in two steps. Get the paint on there first for coverage and then smooth it out to make it look nice and catch any drips or runs. That's great. Let me show you how to paint the field of the panel. Thank you. I dip the brush, tap it on both sides, and bring it to the surface, and just get the product on there for coverage. Notice I put the brush into the corner to make sure that we get uh, the bristles right into those edges. Now that I have the coverage, with a fairly dry brush, I lay it off in smooth, even strokes. And first I do the moldings, and then I'll smooth out the face of the panel. You can see I start in the corners and bring with long, smooth brush strokes from one corner down to the other. Bring it out of the corner and feather off as you come to the middle of the panel. And after you're done with the panel, you move on to the frame of the door, also known as the rails and styles. And again, you work in two steps. Apply the paint for coverage and then smooth it out to make it look nice. You'll notice that I propped the door up so I can more easily do the edges. Now we're ready to do the back. So you've got a couple hooks that you put into the door? That's right, and we'll use these to hang the door while we're painting the back. So you've got yourself a little ingenious station over here. Two ladders, two two-by-fours on the top, and then a whole series of hooks here. I presume the hang doors while they dry, and then um, two more right here? That's right. So this will be a painting station, and we'll, use, we'll hang the door from these hooks while we paint the back. After that, we'll move it over to a drying area. We have this little trick. We put a screw in here in one of the screw holes from the hinge. You can use that as a little handle so that the door doesn't swing back and forth while you brush it. You want to paint the back just like the front. So you'd paint all around the edges of the, of the panel, just like you're doing. Looks good. So time for the drying rack? That's right. And you've got the hooks here. Are these on the top of the door? Yes, we put them on the top of the door for the upper cabinets. That way, they're into what we call the blind side. I can't see them up high, and then on the lower cabinets, you probably put the hooks in the bottom. That's right. All right, so we've got about 15 more doors to do, right? That's right. And we're going to have what on them? A prime coat, two coats of paint, and two coats of water-based polyurethane. <laughs> All right, that is a lot of work left.